Hey everybody, welcome to Pop Dust Presents. I'm here with Harbor and Lexi Pantera. Woo! What's, What's up? up, Pop Dust? You guys just performed the new single, More Than You? Yes. Sure did. And it was an acoustic version, but it's not how it sounds online. No, definitely not. At all. Not. not close. We took the energy down like 100 points. <laughs> 100% down. I was actually surprised though, because you're a DJ producer, mm-hmm. New York yep. based, born and raised. Yep, New York. And... Um, and yeah, and then you got in here and you played on the grand piano. It did that it was new for me pi- too. Did it start with piano for you? No, it, it just started with piano like two months ago for me. Amazing. Yeah. Wow. I found out we were going to do some acoustic stuff and I was like, I got to get this I'm in check. Yeah. Was this the first time? That I've, we've That's done it. Yeah, yeah. You guys got the exclusive acoustic performance. Oh. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Okay. That was cool. Hold yeah. on, I got a text. That was the first parents. time we've ever performed it I'm together. No. Yeah, and that was the first time we ever performed it together. What? Yeah. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Your phone's broken, dude. Broken. Yeah. I mean, this is the first time you guys <laughs> ever yeah, performed it together. First time. Uh, right here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, with me in the room. <laughs> yeah, with yeah, you well, and well, Freddie. Uh, stop. We did it for Freddie, though. We're for Freddie only. We're all here for Fred. That's the only reason I show up. (laughs) It's not like they pay us. The original song came out in March, and then you guys quickly followed up with a music video, which Mm -hmm. is really awesome. Thanks. Has tons of views online. Could you guys tell me a bit about the video? Yeah, you want to go for it? What about it? Well, I heard uh, you shot it around historic sites in in L.A. Are you from Mm -hmm. L.A.? I'm from L.A. I grew up here in Sacramento, or L.A. and Sacramento. Okay. Half and half my whole life. Very different Californian cities. Very much. But anyways, back to the video. We did go to um, like Doc Weiler, the bonfire. Mm-hmm. We went to Hollywood Boulevard, which was interesting. Um, where else did we go? And we then one the, was just indoors. Yeah, we went in like a loft. Yeah, in a loft in, and, in Hollywood. Is that it? And I think you guys so. shot for like 14 hours straight. Yeah, yeah it was oh, a long time. Oh, we shot for a long time. It was a lot cold. 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 So cold it the whole goddamn day. So I got, cold, folks. I got so bronchitis. Cold. Let's. That's how cold it was. <laughs> and he lives here. That's and I live here. here. <laughs> Diseases. Wow. Yeah. But yeah, fourteen hour shoot. I've never mm-hmm. even been awake that long. <laughs> Me for neither. Fourteen straight hours. It was another first. Did you guys get to nap in between or? No. No, no napping. napping. Tell us about the the concept. So obviously the song is about the night giving you more than who you're with. So it can be a guy or a girl. And it's like, you know, the nighttime, the club scene, the whatever happens in the evening, it's exciting usually, right? So you're like, that gives me more than you. Nothing wrong with you, but that's more exciting. So my boyfriend, he came up with the idea of, you know, having a man in this dark clothing represent the nighttime. So then that's where like our spark started like going. The what? Nightman? Nightman. If you will. Yeah, basically. Do you get the reference? No, I don't. I don't either. <laughs> I'm like, if sunny. you will. What is that? In Philadelphia. I have seen Always Sunny. I don't sunny, watch that. But, uh, the Nightman cometh. Dang, I don't watch that. Sorry. Okay, so the Nightman is in your video. <laughs> yes, the Nightman's in a video. He's, he came here from New York, came to LA from New York, and yep. 24 it happened. 24-hour trip. You guys are opposite coasts, an unlikely friendship, an unlikely collaboration duo. How did you meet? We met through uh, our mutual friend, Kate. Who, Amazing girl. Wrote this song. Kate Morgan. Yes, Kate she Morgan. She wrote the record. Do you know her? I I believe she's been on Pop Dust Presents. And she's Amazing. written with the Chainsmokers. Yes, yes. correct. And she's a big fan of the show. Shout out to Kate. Shout out yes, to Kate. Kate Honestly, is a beast. Huge I love her more than Kate. anything. Love her. Life. Yeah. She's probably... In your whole life. Huge yeah. shout more than out friend. to Kate. So she introduced you guys? Yeah, so I was sitting on this demo. It was called Give Me More at the time. And then we were going through, we had like a list of vocalists that we wanted to sing. And Lexi was at the top. And I showed hey. the list to Kate. And Kate was like, oh, I know Lexi. <laughs> Let That's me set cool. an introduction. And how did, how did Lexi get on your radar? Because you've got a bunch of other singles. Yeah, how did on. you find me, huh? Yeah. Huh? 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 Well, I heard Peace Sign. And that was kind of the vibe that we were going for. That's a good song. With the new one. <laughs> with More Than You. This kind of tropical, summery kind of pop vibe yeah so i heard that and then i kind of like in my head pictured what she would sound like over my demo and it sounded good and then we got in the studio yeah and he came to la and we got in the studio LA for again. a couple hours and then and then we did banged the damn it out. thing That's, where did producing start for you like where did creating music mm-hmm. start for you and then also for you lexi producing started for me i was 18 i was going to college i was a huge baseball player but i tore my shoulder Damn. So I couldn't do that anymore. 
And I was like sitting on YouTube and found like DJ tutorials. And so I started doing that. <laughs> I love that. And then I realized that in order to like kind of progress with your DJ career, you need to start making music. So I started to do that too. But I'm all YouTube born and raised. And what do they call it? YouTube college? U- University it? of you- YouTube. There you go. If, if your shoulder had been fine, like which... Do you do you, are you would you go back to baseball? Ooh, that's a good question. No, fuck my shoulder. Dang, really? I was gonna say I wasn't a huge fan of it as soon as you walked in. I was yeah, like, right. It's just like there. Yeah, it's like a, no. what, it's like an elbow, but higher. You wouldn't up. have gone back like no, because I would have never fine gone right now. I've never been a professional baseball player. Why not? I, I'm not that. I wasn't that good. Oh, screw it then. Yeah, exactly. He's a really great producer, so that's yeah. what matters. So, so your career began with an injury and uh, shattered mm-hmm. dreams. How about yeah. you, Lexi? 16, 17, girl group, went solo, put out a solo like solo album when I was like 19. Girl group? But, but, well, I, well, yeah. What I used to name? be in a girl group. I like was... so. Long time ago, though. That's a cool name. Didn't work out. I was like, mm-mm. Um, then, uh, you know, went through like, did a little bit of showcases here and there for some labels, never been signed, always been independent and just keep going. Cause I love the music. I hate the industry. Don't like the business of it. It's very political, but I love the music. So every time I like semi almost gave up or like, was like, screw it. I'm just going to get a normal job. Something always pulled me back in. It was like, no, you're doing this. So that's, that's my story. And I guess who were your, you know, when you were maybe like 15, 16, getting into it and forming these groups, who were your, your biggest idols at the time? So I loved Ashanti and Aaliyah and those girls. Um, but my musical background, I think is just everything. Cause my dad listened to like rock, like the Scorpions and Depeche Mode all the way to like Tiesto. Then my mom on the other hand was like R and B and like all the old school jams. So, but my favorite, like growing up was like Whitney Houston, where I carry Celine Dion type of vibe. Um, but loving R and B all the time. But I like to sing, honestly, everything: pop, dance, R and B, slow jams, all of it. What about people today? Like a wish list of people you would collaborate with. Like for if let's say Harbor, uh, you know, tomorrow he got enlisted into a baseball team wow. and he couldn't do music anymore, Whoa. and you had to find Millions. other people to work with. You'd have millions. I'd tell you to back my career. I would. And then I would want to work with Khalid. Career. After that's <laughs> then, all done yeah, with. Immediately. You. I really want to work with uh, Khalid. He's he's awesome. Khalid. <laughs> Shout out to Khalid. Balls in your court, buddy. Um, you and, know he's watching. Um, I don't know. I think uh, a DJ like Calvin Harris would be really great too. Um, I love Rihanna. So like, <laughs> love her. Anything. Anything with Rihanna would be great. Typically, the pop dust bump, they call it, uh, you know, within the within the next three to six months, those will all come to fruition. It wow. Happens. It happens. Wow. You can ask Khalid, anybody. Rihanna, Calvin Harris. Yeah, a lot. I'm counting on you. What about me? Yeah, no, dude. <laughs> you honestly, she, me. You don't have any other options. As soon as I made I a hypothetical, so she was many. like, oh, he's dead. He is dead to me. I know. <laughs> We've already worked together now. I don't Check. know. Maybe. Checklist. You know, you break another shoulder, you, f- you learn a new career. No, since you asked, I would love <laughs> to work with Skrillex. Okay. Diplo. Shouting them all out. It's my turn now. <laughs> it's his pop dust bump. Here we go. That's it. And who, who got you started? Those, that, those are your dream team collaborators? Calvin Harris. And Calvin Harris got it started for you. Mm-hmm. Look at that. Full circle. But you don't want to collaborate with him now? Because she does. What if the three of you... We could start a super group. Wow. A super group. Maybe like the Calvins. A baseball team. I was gonna say we could Kleins. do we the could, Kle- I was gonna say we were Calvin Klein. <laughs> we could do softball, like a softball league. What are yes. we softies? Yeah. The soft- <laughs> She's not there, happening. that's it. I don't know if I'm having that. Super group name, the softies. Oh god, that sounds terrible. It <laughs> it sounds like a hit record. Really appreciate you guys coming in. I can't believe that we got the first ever performance. You yeah. guys doing a song together. Exciting. Um, Thank you. That was really, really cool.